gave me six months. How am I supposed to live my life when time is running out? How the fuck do I... I just can't. I can't do this anymore. I wake up next to you every day knowing there's no future for us. I just can't take it. The pain? I want to end it and just be done. It feels like someone is holding my heart in an iron fist and I can't breathe. I just lie there or look at you. Medical history report, discharge summary, patient Mia Higgins, diagnosis, no cancerous changes found, underlying disease and complications, none, treatment, conducted medical treatment procedures, CT scan of the chest didn't show any tumors in the lungs, lungs, trachea, and main bronchial normal, blood test results unremarkable, conducted surgical treatment procedures, recommendations regarding further treatment, patient has been discharged, recommended checkup in two months. Will Jake Higgins' discoveries save the world? Nobody believed that Higgins really found the secret of eternal health. Today we know that thanks to his discoveries, Amalu Corp is going to change the world, releasing humanity from the burden of sickness and suffering. Sammy is suffering from acute lymphoblastic leukemia. He is only four years old and has spent most of his life in a hospital, being subjected to chemotherapy and stuck with needles. Bone marrow transplantation gives the biggest chance of recovery, but Sammy, like thousands of other sick children, is not eligible for the procedure. The fight for these young patients' lives is a cruel race against time. Unexpectedly, Amalucorp has joined the struggle, announcing a swift launch of a new generation drug, which is to make cancer treatment as easy as curing a cold. It's a real breakthrough in medicine, one that will change the fate of humanity by eliminating one of the most severe illnesses. The research conducted by the company has aroused great hope. Terminally ill patients have already started gathering next to Amalu Corp's headquarters, hoping that they will be chosen for the first tests. Officially, the company states that it's far too early to experiment on people. But according to witnesses, cured patients were seen leaving the company's headquarters. Shocking reports about the unbelievable effects of the drug are drawing in a flood of desperate people, willing to spend the rest of their lives in a queue in hopes of a miracle. And leukemia is just the beginning. The company has announced that more drugs will be developed to eliminate other untreatable illnesses, all of them based on Jake Higgins' research. It's truly amazing that the remedy for millions of sick people was found in the Amazonian forest, among the members of a tribe completely isolated from civilization. The very idea sounds so preposterous that no distinguished scientist has addressed it. Only Jake Higgins found enough courage in his heart to set off on a long and dangerous journey in hopes of finding a revolutionary cure. Is there really hope for Sammy? Right now, doctors give him a 20% chance of recovery, whereas the new drug is said to be 100% efficient. If the boy gets it fast enough, he will have a long, normal life to look forward to. And even though a world without illness seems like a vision straight out of a science fiction movie, Jake Higgins and Amalu Corp have just taken us one step closer to fulfilling that dream.
breakthrough in medicine. Amalu Corp is going to heal us. The pharmaceutical company Amalu Corp was the only one to convince Jake Higgins to share the secret of eternal health and has immediately started developing a new drug. We're in for a real medical revolution. Higgins is the first man in the world who managed to get in touch with the previously unknown Yabawaka tribe. Before he went to Brazil, he had to undergo complete vaccination, enhance his immunity, implement a healthy diet, and take numerous tests to make sure that he was in perfect shape. When it comes to tribes isolated from the world, coming into contact with a sickness brought from the outside, even a common cold, could lead to the extinction of an entire village. Higgins, however, rose up to the challenge, and we should all be grateful. When he reached his destination, it turned out all the preparations were unnecessary. In the book he wrote after his return, Higgins included a sensational claim reportedly, this native tribe never got sick. By doing so, he aroused hope among the sick, but the book was eventually a huge disappointment, as the author didn't reveal the true reason behind the native's perfect immunity. Medical experts assessed that without evidence, his claims were nothing more than fairy tales. Luckily, Higgins also attracted supporters, who saw the potential of his extraordinary claims. Amalucorp managed to convince the traveler to share the knowledge he acquired. They were the only company in the world brave enough to launch unconventional research, whose goal, among others, is to revolutionize cancer treatment. Soon complicated surgeries and exhausting chemotherapy will become history. The fact that numerous copycats of Amalucorp are trying to get to the Yabuwaka at all costs seems to prove that Jake Higgins really discovered the secret of health. The interest is so huge that the Brazilian government had to start denying permits to venture into the tribe's territory out of concern for its safety. The authorities introduced special safety measures to create a reservation to prevent any unauthorized parties from trying to endanger the tribe. The Yabuwaka are under full protection. Thanks to Higgins and Amalu Corp, a revolution in medicine has been put into motion, which will lead to the elimination of previously untreatable and often lethal conditions. If it comes to completion, this will mean that an unassuming traveler will go down in history, not only of medicinal progress, but also the entire human race. A new, better world. It is done. Amalu Corp has launched a new era in the history of mankind. The revolutionary drug has entered production and soon cancer will finally be defeated. Everything began with the traveler, Jake Higgins, who went to the Amazonia and brought back the secret to eternal health and then shared his findings with Amalu Corp. The company immediately started research on the new drug, which will cure cancer once and for all. One of the worst sicknesses will soon be completely eradicated. It may be hard to believe, but the results of the test are unambiguous. The cure is really working and leads to full remission, and this is only the beginning. The medical revolution is gaining momentum, and there's already research underway aimed at eliminating other sicknesses. Thanks to Amalu Corp, the impossible has become possible, and today we are standing before a unique opportunity to ensure that mankind is healthy and durable like never before. Brazilian dream coming true. While the Brazilian pharmaceutical company Amalu Corp is giving away free injections of a supposedly revolutionary cure-it-all to the country's citizens, the rest of the world watches in outrage as the prices of the drug keep soaring. Until recently, only the people interested in the pharmaceutical market recognized the name Amalu Corp, but now the company is on everyone's lips. The drug it developed in record time is said to work as a perfect vaccine that ensures immunity to all kinds of illnesses. And for those already sick, it stimulates the immune system, causing a remission and complete recovery. Although all of this sounds unreal, the internet is full of photos and clips presenting testimonies of people cured of cancer, AIDS, or lupus. A study has also been published that shows great effectiveness of the drug against Ebola, which has been untreatable so far. However, Amalucorp has refused to give access to the drug to foreign medical labs. Therefore, no research outside of Brazil has proven its effects. This doesn't seem to discourage the sick and dying from all around the world. They set up online fundraisers, hoping to collect the unimaginable amounts of money needed for treatment. Those who can make a pilgrimage to Brazil in hopes of getting an injection for free. People are queuing up at the border, waiting to be let in, and airlines are launching new connections to address the rising demand. Although Amalu Corp is giving away the drug for free in Brazil, the profits of the company have already reached billions of dollars. The company has exclusive rights to the new drug and keeps its ingredients secret, not to let anyone copy the formula. This means that it's free to dictate the prices for other countries. According to unofficial reports, among the parties negotiating with Amalu Corp are not only importers from the USA, but also the governments of different countries aiming to provide their citizens with access to the drug. Details of these conversations haven't been made public yet, but we know that Amalu Corp is looking to build its branches around the world, initially at least one per each continent. A race between world powers is underway, and it will determine the choice of first locations. The success of Amalu Corp is slowly affecting the entire country. 
Brazil, so far the world's eighth largest economy, is now on its way to the very top. Thanks to this medical discovery, the country is becoming a force previously unknown to the world. It has already outrun China and can soon become the richest, most influential superpower in the world. And this is due not only to the rising profits from the sales of the new medicine, but also the rapid development thanks to a healthier, stronger society. Today, we don't know yet where this experiment of eliminating the illness of an entire population will lead us, but it's possible that Brazil will bring about a world revolution. I can't believe you. Would you do it again? Or was the price of healing me too high? What? What price? What did we... What did I do? Tell me, please. Speed, more important than quality? Drug from Amalu Corp already available. Barely a year has passed since the Brazilian pharmaceutical company started working on a new revolutionary drug, and the medicine in question is already in use and being administered to patients. The world's medical experts are outraged by this violation of procedures and express concern over the safety of patients. On Tuesday, the WHA officially condemned the actions of Amalucorp, which introduced a new drug onto the market at such a record-breaking speed. According to the WHA representative, it is impossible to conduct all necessary tests and adhere to international guidelines for new drugs in such a short time. Meanwhile, the president of Brazil has offered his support to the company, indicating that the drug has been approved for sale by the appropriate registration office. He also added that the gravely ill can't spare several years to wait for effective treatment. According to the CEO of Amalucorp, K. Kwitek, the drug was examined and is safe to use. It is also said to be exceptionally efficient against cancer. Supposedly, the medicine leads to a complete and swift recovery, while also preventing recurrence and metastasis. This is why its rushed introduction onto the market is supported by organizations from all over the world, before a drug makes its way to patients. The development of any drug starts with searching for new ways to treat a particular sickness, condition, or symptoms. In the first phase, as many as hundreds or even thousands of chemical substances and compounds are examined for their healing and preventative potential. Next, out of that pool, a small number of the most promising ones are chosen. They undergo preclinical trials, which are conducted on live tissue or bacteria, and take approximately five years. It isn't until the next phase that the substances chosen from the initial pool are administered to people in a series of strictly regulated clinical trials, which take up to six years. Only then can a pharmaceutical company apply for registration. The application is examined by a registration authority for about one and a half years. Once approval is received, the production of the drug can finally be launched, and then it is introduced onto the market. This isn't the end of the procedure though. Every officially available drug is under constant strict supervision. Unknown virus detected in Brazil. It's been a week since Brazilian hospitals shared information about new occurrences of an unidentified virus. To date, a dozen cases have been reported. For safety reasons, the patients are isolated. Most of them have slipped into a coma, and the doctors describe their condition as serious. Tests are being conducted to identify the virus and its mutations. Currently, the patients are provided with symptomatic treatment, whose aim is to increase their comfort. Authorities urge citizens who show suspicious symptoms or have been in contact with an infected person to get checked in the nearest hospital. One of the first symptoms of the infection are high fever and pale blue subdermal lesions. The authorities also assure the public that the situation is under control and there is no risk of an outbreak. More infected with new virus in Brazil. The situation in Brazilian hospitals is becoming worse. Over several dozen people died in connection with an unidentified virus, and the number of diagnosed infections is on the rise. The hospitals are struggling to accommodate the incoming flood of patients. Initially, the sick were kept in isolation, but no hospital has a sufficient number of isolation wards for all the affected. Entire wards and even wings of hospitals are being turned into quarantine zones. Unfortunately, the efforts of the medical personnel may not be enough to prevent an outbreak. People in an advanced stage of illness are found at homes, in the streets, and in public spaces, thus spreading the virus even further. The worst scenario is playing out in the poorest districts and favelas. 
poor sanitation and access to health care, paired with the distrustful attitude of the citizens towards the authorities make it even more difficult to contain the virus in these areas. The Minister of Health assures the public that several research teams are currently working independently to identify the virus. At the same time, a special investigative task force has been formed to determine the source and cause of the outbreak. The President of Brazil claims that the situation is under control, but is asking the citizens to follow strict safety measures and avoid public places if possible. Several big events were canceled for safety reasons, and kindergartens and schools see a decline in attendance. Despite the reassuring tone of the authorities, Brazil is on the brink of chaos. Outbreak of unknown disease spiraling out of control. Not long ago, Brazil aspired to become the world's greatest superpower, but now it has found itself on the brink of total collapse. A mysterious disease has already cost Brazil the lives of 20 million people. The country is running out of its medical supplies, and the government has lost control of the country. If the outbreak spreads beyond the borders, the crisis may consume the entire continent. Due to the tragic situation in Brazil, the neighboring countries have introduced procedures that are meant to protect their citizens from being infected. Additional forces have been deployed to control the borders, and official crossings have been closed. Runaways who are trying to escape Brazil illegally are apprehended and sent back. The rest of the world has also introduced restrictions. Most airports have suspended flights to and from Brazil. At a special conference organized by the WHA, representatives from all around the world are debating how to stop the unidentified virus from spreading any further. One of the first propositions is to fortify the safety measures at the Isthmus of Panama. From a geographical perspective, it is the most convenient place to stop the outbreak because the epidemic has already reached Colombia. Other propositions include building barbed wire entanglements, fences, or even a wall reaching from coast to coast. Engaging major military forces is being considered. It's easy to notice the helplessness of the WHA in the face of the crisis. All the solutions discussed so far are mostly aimed at protecting the countries that haven't been affected by the disease. No one has proposed a method of efficient treatment of the virus or containment of the chaos-ridden area. The first day of the conference has led to disappointing conclusions, and the world still cannot feel safe. They all believed this was the only solution. Shutting down airports, seaports, and now this? They are isolating the entire continent. 